permitted in your life. In the name of Jesus. You are going to pray, Father, deliver me, deliver my eyes from tears all through the remaining days of this year. Deliver my what? My eyes from tears. Deliver my eyes from tears. Deliver me from sorrow. Deliver me from evil news. Deliver me, oh God. Deliver my eyes from tears. Open your mouth and pray. All through the remaining days of this year, my father, my father, deliver my eyes from tears. Deliver my eyes from tears. The only tear that is permitted in my life is the tears of joy. Jesus. And lastly, Father, deliver my feet from falling. All through the remaining part of this year, my Father, my Father, deliver my feet from falling. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, powers of satanic restlessness, I sign against my life, expire in the name of Jesus. Listen, 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 listen. There's a reason why I left that script, that prayer. I didn't write it down somewhere. It just came into my spirit right now. Because the Lord said there are some people that the enemy, the devil has put upon them satanic restlessness. No matter how you try to have rest, you are not able to have rest. But God said tonight is your night. Amen. Said tonight is your night. Amen. Powers of satanic restlessness. I shine against my life. Expire by fire. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. said return unto the rest we are going to pray you are going to speak life into your destiny you are going to command your destiny to return unto arrest my destiny, my destiny. return to your rest now by the fire of the holy ghost open your mouth and pray that prayer right now my destiny my life Return 
to your place of rest now in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray Jesus. You know, there's a man called Obededom in the scripture. That guy all his life has unrest. One day, they wanted to go and collect the Ark of Covenant. And the entire Israel, led by David, the king, <laughs> were on the journey. Obededom too was there. <laughs> but nobody recognized Obededom. Obededom probably was the poorest man, the most suffering the one that nobody even knows his address. And everybody knows that there is nothing to write home about to be dead on. But you see, God made up his mind to lift up to be dead on. If God decides to lift you up, <laughs> he's a lifter of man's destiny. And tonight I've come to announce to you, you are next in line for your destiny to be lifted. Amen. God caused some certain things to happen. The guy that they took the ark from his house, his son, Uzzah, went and tried to help. He was not doing anything bad. But then God wanted to show his power because his father was an evil man. Somebody's not getting what I'm saying. Because he didn't take care of the ark of covenant very well that was kept in his house for so many years. The ark of covenant have the capacity to do two things. I want you to follow me. I'm about to round up this prayer. But this is very important and very key as the inspiration is coming. The Ark of Covenant can lay to rest your enemy. The Ark of Covenant can give you rest. Two things. It can lay to rest your enemies <laughs> and equally give you supernatural rest. <laughs> Praise God. That, those are the two things that he can do. And that's what I want us to pray about. When Uzzah was laid to rest, everybody became afraid because somebody was in the mind of God to be lifted. And that person was obeyed up. So they looked at him and said, there's nothing to write to me about this one. David wanted to take the act to himself because David by history knew that act of covenant was a good thing. If the ark of covenant is somebody's house, it's a good thing. But he going to take it. He wanted to take it to the city of David. But when he saw that he killed, that Uzzah wanted to help, when he thought God caused the ark to be shaken. <laughs> Somebody's not getting what I'm saying. God caused the ark. The ark will never drop. But God caused it to be shaken. For a moment. And Uzzah felt, let me help so that this ark will no longer, it will not go and fall. And as he tries to help, he died instantly. So you, God said, you can't help me. Who are you to help me? <laughs> Praise God. And now fear gripped everybody, including David the king. So the history that David had about the hack, David changed his mind because of what he saw. He said, ah, if this hack is killing somebody, I don't want to take this hack to my house before my family will go and die. Because God wants to bless somebody. Oh my goodness. Somebody get what I'm talking about here. They took the hack and they look at it. Who in this place that if he dies, it doesn't matter to the entire city of David. They looked at it. They said, Obededom is the one. If this guy dies, it makes no meaning to us. <laughs> so they looked at it. They said, okay, Obededom, take it to him. Fear, grip, Obededom. Oh my goodness. They took the heart and took it to the house of Obededon. Little did they know 
that God was said to lift up over the door because the same act that brings one down is the same act that lifts up others. But that act is coming to your house and that act will lift you up. I said tonight that act is coming to you and that act will lift you up. It will bring down everyone that wants you down. In the name of Jesus. You are going to pray, Father, release the heart of the covenant of rest upon me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer right now. Release the ark of the covenant of rest upon me. Release the ark of the covenant of rest upon me right now. Release the ark. Release the ark. Release the ark. Shabada bada bada gadash. Release the ark of the covenant of rest upon me right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, as the ark resident with me, let my situation be turned around speedily. If it did three months, the things that happened to Obededom, not even David, not even David could, could get it. David, everybody became jealous of him. That they had to go and say, let us. They went and looked for Obededom where he was living inside the bush. They didn't see him there again. He had already gone to build a mansion, skyscraper somewhere. That's where he's now living. Because his address changed. When the heart of covenant comes to you, your address will change. That's why I want you to pray. That by this act of covenant of rest upon my life, let every situation of my life be turned around for good. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Of Jesus, Amen. the covenant of rest actually fought for Obededom without them knowing, <laughs> and Obededom was just there. It, it's not like he fought, he didn't fight anything. When God said in Exodus 14 14 that I will fight for you and you will have your peace, what it means is that I am going to give you the covenant of rest, you'll be resting, I'll be fighting for you. Oh, but they don't didn't have to fight any battle, but the covenant fought for him. We're going to pray, Father, by this covenant of rest, by this act of covenant of rest, every enemy of my life, I lay them to rest. Do you want to pray that prayer? Open your mouth and pray that prayer right now. By this act of the covenant of rest upon my life, every enemy of my life, I lay them to rest tonight. I let 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 them to rest. I let them to rest. I let them to rest. I 
In the name of Jesus. Amen. By the ark. <laughs> the Bible says that Obededo prospered. Uh, prosperity became the address of Obededo. Prosperity. He became very wealthy. That he was so wealthy that he was the, he became wealthiest in the land. Father, let the, this act of the covenant of rest that is coming upon me, let it give me breakthrough on all sides. Let it give me supernatural financial breakthroughs. I don't know whether you want to pray that prayer. If you are too holy to be wealthy, no problem. Pray it for me. Pray it for me. If you are too holy to be wealthy, Father, just pray that prayer for me. By this act of, of the covenant of rest, of covenant let of me rest. prosper on our side. Let me pray through on our side. Let me enjoy total pray through in the name of Jesus. By this covenant act of covenant of rest over my life, let me enjoy pray through or run pray through over my life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As we take this communion tonight, I decree you begin to enjoy rest roundabout. Amen. By this communion. Every area of your of, of unrest in your life comes to an end. Amen. By this communion, any enemy of your life will be laid to rest. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We we'll receive this communion table in the name of the Father, of the Amen. Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We we'll receive the bread as the body of Christ. We we'll receive the, the cup as the blood of Jesus. And I decree anyone under the sound of my voice that is having any infirmity or affliction or sickness in his or her body, by this communion, you are healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. By this communion, I decree peace. Amen. By this communion, I decree progress. Amen. By this communion, I decree promotion. Amen. By this communion, I decree increase. Amen. By this communion, I decree prosperity. Amen. By this communion, I decree breakthroughs. Amen. By this communion, I decree advancement. Amen. By this communion, I decree fruitfulness. Amen. By this communion, I decree liftings. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By this communion, I decree you are unkillable. Amen. Nobody, anyone that takes this communion tonight, no power of hell will be able to kill you. Amen. Gun that will be able to kill you will never be manufactured. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As a matter of fact, this communion became immune system in your body against any gunshot. Amen. Against any cutlass or anything on your body. Amen. It will not enter your body anymore. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By this communion, you are free. By this communion, you are secured. By this communion, you are protected. Amen. By this communion, you are delivered. Amen. By this communion, you are set free. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. so shall it be. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. My worship is my weapon. This is how I win my battle. First, this was fragrance. Then it turns to fire. My worship is my weapon. This is how I win my battle. This is how we win, win, win. This is how we win. Smoke up my worship, release up on the earth. This is how we win, win, win. This is how we win. The smoke of my worship, release up on the earth. This is how we win, win, win. This is how we win.
Jesus name now some people are afraid whether they are in sin that's why they don't want to take the communion now if you are here if it's because of sin that you are afraid of taking this communion the Bible says that if anyone is sick among you, bring him to the elder of the church and the elder of the church will pray a prayer of faith and he will declare that they are healed and their sins shall be forgiven and they shall be blessed. So what, whoever that is under the sound of my voice that's afraid because of your sin, I command you forgiven. Amen. That amen is bad. Amen. Take it. Let the devil be ashamed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Speak to that communion in your hands. In the name of Jesus. Whatsoever you have spoken, heavens have answered. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's take it. Yeah. 